Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms and today uh, I just wanted to do a different kind of video where I just give you a quick tip and then duck back out. So uh, today's quick tip is regarding your grain spawn. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the soaking method that they're using that, that I use for my oats and they're talking about that they have a little bit more uh, moisture in the bag than what they find ideal. Plus, uh, when they're adding liquid culture to the bag, like 10 cc's in a five pound bag, they're finding that they're getting a little bit of moisture in the bottom. So, easiest way to buffer that, guys, is um, as soon as you are making your, you're bagging up your grain, uh, throw a few pellets of sawdust or hardwood fuel pellets and uh, sweeping hole pellets in the bottom. That's it, just throw a like, handful, five or six pellets in the bottom of your bag. Um, you'll see it, it's really easy to do. I just got done knocking up some bags. I'll show you guys what they look like. But you can see right there, there's some sawdust and soy in the bottom of that bag. This provides three different bonuses in my opinion. Number one, I've already told you, it buffers your moisture content. If you add a little bit of too much moisture, that's okay. You don't have to, uh, those, that sawdust doesn't have to be soaking wet. It'll just soak up a little bit of that moisture and keep your bags from being a little bit too wet whenever the, ba the grains express that moisture. Um, the second thing that it does is that it provides more inoculation points. A lot of people talked about they don't like oats because oats don't have as many surface area, as much surface area as millets have, uh, uh, sorry, millet grain has. Um, they're right. Millet has more inoculation points than oats does. I've never found that to be a problem. However, guys, since I've started using a little bit of sawdust and soy in my bags, I am seeing much faster incubation times. So that's your uh, your, your next piece, right? It, uh, it provides more inoculation points and it speeds up your incubation time on your fruiting blocks. Um, and last but not least, I'm finding that adding a, lot of, a little bit of sawdust and soy, and I think this may be part of that uh, incubation time as well, is that it trains it on your substrate. You're already giving it a little bit of food that it's naturally going to eat. I already do sawdust and soy in my agar, so it's just the next step that you're getting using a little bit of sawdust and soy in your grain bags, providing that food that it's gonna have to learn how to break down right there in the bag, so that you already have a little bit trained to do it. Um, and it's already seeded on that sawdust and those soy flakes. Um, in fact, I'll show you some pellets that, I've got, uh, that I went through the microscope and added some water to. You can see when that stuff swells up, it, it doesn't take a little, but doesn't take but much. Oh my goodness, doesn't take much water for those pellets to really swell up and then provide all those teeny tiny little inoculation points that everybody wants. It's kind of a hybrid between sawdust spawn and grain spawn, and I like it because I'm getting the benefits of both. So, guys, that's it. Um, like I said, I just got done inoculating some of these uh, 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 bags with liquid culture. Uh, all of these are orders that are about to head out the door um, as, as soon as they've grown in for about seven days. And uh, then they'll be on to you fine folks for uh, your own mushroom farms. And uh, that, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, I can't remember. Uh, what was that? With the other, oh, that's right, y'all. Keep spawning culture.